And number 37, the first part says to write a system of inequalities. Well, I know uh, $4 an hour plus the $8 an hour she's earning, she wants to earn at least $32. This money has to be equal to 32 or greater than in order to satisfy, excuse me, this should be an 80. $4 an hour at the one job and $8 an hour at the other job has got to be at least $80. It could be equal to, but it's got to be greater than. Um, she's able to work no more than 15. So the hours here plus the hours there cannot be any more than 15. It has to be less than or equal to. Now I want to graph these inequalities on this grid. For the second inequality, if I move the x over by subtraction, you have this new inequality, y is less than or equal to negative x plus 15. So if I were to graph that, my y-intercept is 15. My slope is negative 1, so I'm going down 1 over 1. I am using a solid line, and I am going to shade underneath it. This means any combination of, um, let's see, x is... babysitting... And then this is the library. Any combination of hours in this solution satisfies the first condition. Or actually both conditions, excuse me. Excuse me, any point in this region satisfies the second inequality. In the top one, if I subtract 4x to the other side, I get 8y is greater than or equal to negative 4x plus 80. Now I have to divide both sides by 8. I get y is greater than or equal to negative 4 eighths, which is the same as negative 1 half x. 80 divided by 8 is 10. Coming over here, I start at 10. I'm going to go down 1 over 2. Oh, excuse me, down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. It says to use a solid line and shade above the line. So that means this region where both graphs overlap is my solution set. Determine and state one combination of hours that will allow Edith to earn at least 80 per week while working no more than 10 hours. This is basically saying name one point in the solution set. A point in the solution set satisfies both inequalities. So I don't know, I'm going to pick this one right here. That is, looks like one hour babysitting. And 11 hours at the library. And to check ourselves, we know that we made $4 an hour babysitting plus $8 an hour at the library for a total of $92. She wanted to earn at least $80 a week. Well... That one hour plus 11 hours, that was only 12 hours. She told us that she didn't want to work any more than 15.